In the previous video clip, we looked at a transaction in the secondary market where a bond traded cum interest. Now we're going to look at another transaction in the secondary market for a bond, but this time the bond is going to trade X interest. So we're going to explain to you what X interest mean and we're going to show you how to do those calculations. Right, so what we have here is the same bond, bond A, but now it trades on 15 December 2015 and it is sold by company B, who is now the seller, to trust C, and trust C is now the buyer. And it's sold at a clean price of 98,5 rand per cent. The bond register still closes one month before the coupon payment date. So, the first thing we have to do on this is to show the date at which the coupons will be paid. Now, the previous coupon payment date, if we're looking at 15 December 2015, will be 30 June 2015, and the next bond payment date will be 31 December 2015. So the next coupon payment date will be 31st December. Then we said that the bond register closes one month before the coupon payment date. So, one month before the next coupon payment date, 31st of December, would be 30 November 2015. So that is now the register closing date for the next coupon payment date. Right, now the transaction takes place on 15 December. So now this transaction falls here. 15 December 2015. That is the transaction date. Right. Now, the number of days from 15 December until 31st of December, it is 16 days. So for those 16 days of this coupon period, it is going to belong to Trust C, which is the buyer. And for this long period, from 30 June until 15 December, a period of 168 days, it belonged to Company B, which is now the seller. Right, so let's see. We're going to ask the same questions that we asked in the previous video clip. Who does the bond belong to on the register closing date? Now, if you look at this, this is the register closing date. The transaction has not taken place yet. So on the register closing date, the bond belongs to Company B. Who will receive the coupon, therefore, on the coupon payment date, on the 31st of December? Because it belongs to Company B on the register closing date, Company B is going to receive the full coupon. But is this fair? No, it's not fair, because from 15 December until 31st of December, it belongs to Trust C. So Trust C should be refunded. Who should be refunded? Trust C. The buyer should be refunded. And for what period? For that short period. It's a short period, but it's still going to be a lot of money. So it is for 16 days. 
from 15 December until 31st of December. And how will this be done? This will be done by subtracting the accrued interest for that 16 days from the clean price. Therefore, to calculate the all-in price, you will take the clean price and subtract the accrued interest, and therefore we say that this bond will trade X interest. You take away the accrued interest that is owed to trustee. You make the price that is going to be paid less by the amount of the accrued interest. The accrued interest amount, that's what we're going to calculate first, accrued interest amount and we're going to use that same formula accrued interest amount is principal times coupon rate per annum times D divided by 365 so it's the principal times the coupon rate times D which now refers to the period for which you calculate the accrued interest. There's 16 days divided by 365. The principal is a million. The, accrued, the, the coupon rate remains 10% or 0 0,1 times 16 divided by 365. We do that calculation from the back. 16 divided by 365 times point zero times 1 million gives you 4,383 rand and 56 cent. Right, to calculate the clean price, amount you're going to take the principal and multiply it by the clean price so the principal is a million and the clean price is 98,5 rand percent so 0 0,985 and that gives you if we do the calculation, 1 million times 0 0.985 gives you 985,000 rand. Now we want to calculate the all-in price and the bond trades. X interest, so it is clean price amount minus accrued interest amount the clean price 985,000 minus accrued interest 4,383 rand and 56 cent we do that calculation. 985,000 minus 4,383.56 and that gives you 980,616 rand and 44 cent. So to summarize, 
This bond trades in the short period from the register closing date until the next coupon payment date. Because it trades in that period, it trades X interest because company B, which is the seller, is still going to receive the full coupon to ensure that trustee still is refunded for the 16 days that the bond is going to belong to trust C. We calculate accrued interest for 16 days and we subtract that from the amount that trust C will pay for this bond. So bond, uh, trust C pays less by the amount of the accrued interest that it should actually receive for that short period.